I am Dr. Nanda Rajneesh. I am surgical oncologist. I practice breast cancer surgery and GI onco surgery. I practice in Apollo Spectra in Majumdar Shah Cancer Center. Fibroadenomas in the breast arise from what are called as high risk cells within the breast lobules and ducts. And these high risk cells arise because of multiple environmental factors and genetic factors, which is due to hormonal imbalance. Hormonal imbalance is more common when there is a nutritional deficiency or external ingestion of the hormones or any infections in the body itself. So these high risk cells, once they are formed, they can lead to cyst formation adenomas and fibroadenomas and many other fibrocystic disease components. So once they start growing in the breast, unless the hormonal imbalance is corrected, the fibrodenomas keep growing. The speed at which they grow does not depend on the external factors alone. It just depends on the type of cell that is formed within the breast. So some fibrodenomas grow very fast, some fibrodenomas do not. But once we correct the fibrodenoma, the influencing factor, by correcting the hormonal imbalance, especially by giving vitamin E, we have noticed the growth of the fibroadenomas is known to reduce. So once these fibroadenomas keep growing beyond 3 cm in size, we have to normally remove them, otherwise they can keep increasing in size 1 and they can large fibroadenomas they can become and they are called as giant fibroadenomas. But they actually do not get converted into malignancy at all.